Okay, guys. So, um, a few things. I told you I'd keep you updated with the lavender injections, and I ended up having to remove those videos that had me wearing my uniform and, um, yeah, just stuff to show my, my work logo, and that's great and everything. Um, so you, you miss out a lot on what, what the developments. Um, let me just bring you up to speed really quickly. Um, I injected lavender oil into both testicles uh, twice, um, separation of two weeks. Uh, what happened was they swelled up and immense pain occurred. And I went to the ER twice because of, well first because I thought, well maybe there's good results. Second time was the pain actually woke me up from everything. Um, so I was like, shit, I have to go. And I left like at four, five o'clock in the morning, went to the hospital for two hours, only to find out nothing they were gonna do except for give me antibiotics. Well, I took the antibiotics, finished them, and believe me, I was reluctant because, well, if you're transsexual, you know, the antibiotics kill hormones. They cancel estrogen out. Um, I took them, finished them, and um, swelling's gone down, pain's gone. Um, there is something, I think it's like the vas deferens or a nerve or something like that, that was once squishy and soft and you could barely even find it before, and now it's hard like a bone. Not like it was before, mind you, but it's uh, still there, even after the last few weeks. Um, so I'm not doing that anymore, actually. I have discontinued this experiment due to the fact that I do not have any more lavender oil, which is a tragedy in itself, because um, I use that for massaging on my breasts and all that too. But um, also uh, other reasons, because, you know, besides the lavender oil, at work, this is complicating things. I couldn't even get work done. I, I really, I just couldn't. I pretty much, had, you have to take a vacation or be out of work to, for any of this to work anyway, I'm sure, if it does work at all. Um, there is still a chance that I could get cancer from this, but there's no way to know. The, uh, the testicles are actually still enlarged and appeared to be misshapen by feeling. Um, they were definitely not this way before. Uh, they were much smaller before, now they're big. Um, so what I tried doing earlier this week was, um, let me show you. One second. This is, I don't know if you know what this is, but this is a, a zip tie. Let me show you. Can you see it? It's a zip tie. And when you pull this through, it doesn't come back. It's also called a cable tie. And uh, the idea is a makeshift tourniquet for the testicles to kill them off, cut off circulation, cut off blood, and eventually they die. Um, and that can cause septicemia, it can cause uh, cellulitic necrosis, and all these other bad problems um, that you don't want, um, that I'm willing to, to take that risk for. Uh, my problem is, I tried it earlier this week, and I had to stop because it actually ended up cutting into my skin. The circulation, or it didn't cut the circulation off because I was doing it increment by increment, seeing if I can handle the pain. Thing is, the pain that I withstood was not from the pressure, it was from the actual plastic cutting into the skin. So what I'm doing is I'm going to let them heal, and I have made sort of a cushion to wrap around it, and I'm going to try doing it again another time. In the meanwhile, I, um, I'm not doing anything, I just have to wait for everything to get better and then make them worse again. Um, I also have some more needles. I actually used up my last ones before. I still have a needle full of uh, estrogen and another one full of Everclear ready to go. But I used my other needles and I'm thinking of injecting alcohol, Everclear actually, into the testicles because God knows it will kill part of it. Not necessarily all of it, but part of it and that may serve me some purpose. Um, I, I definitely want to lower my estrogen levels. My problem is I'm wondering if it's going to do the same thing as the lavender oil and cause inflammation and pain and inability to do my job properly. I won't know until I, um, I get a vacation, I think. I might just find myself so desperate anyway. So. My thing is that I have something called androphobia. 
And endophobia is where you have this possibly irrational fear of masculinization, mas masculinization or anything that is masculine. And the idea of me becoming masculine is total fear and hatred. And I cannot take it, which is why I am so much determined to castrate myself right now. Um, like I said in my other videos, don't try this yourself. But if you want to try an idea, don't. But if you want to, uh, the idea of a tourniquet, like I, I showed you, the, the zip tie, cable tie, um, that can work. But it will cut into your skin. So um, I'll probably let you know once I start, once I start to heal, and then I can try it all over again. Then I'll let you know how that progress goes. Um, I know I'm crazy, but I'm determined. This is a war, and I will win it. I am. I cannot take having those there. I hate the testosterone in my body, and granted, I will never be rid of it entirely because of the adrenal glands, but at least I'll be at normal female levels, normal feminine levels of testosterone. That's fine with me. I just don't want to revert back to something masculine. That just scares the hell out of me. Anyways, um, sorry I haven't made a video lately. Um, I tried to make videos and things got in the way. I got scared and also fears got into my head. Oh my god, I'm on antibiotics. I look more masculine now. I can't be on, on YouTube, but I had to make a video for you guys just so you know, guys know. Anyways, um, that's all for today. And I will see you guys all later. Love always. J. Joseph J.P. Now and forever.